YouTube, check out this curly top fade though, boy. I know you face so blurry, you need glasses to see it, boy. Check it out. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that way. Uh, <coughs> have you seen my glasses? Nah, you haven't seen them? Bruh, I can't even see. But I cannot see, I'm legally blind. Nah, um, I have to look for it. Bro, I could have sworn I left that shit on my desk before I KO. Damn, bro. So you can't even see your glasses without your glasses? Duh, you dumb. Stupid. Bro, I didn't know what the heck. I don't got glasses. Of course you don't. Bro, I bet you you left them still at the same place. Same place that they were before you fell asleep. On your desk? Uh, yeah, on my, on my desk. It's like... Like no, no, feel over there, feel over there. Oh, they're right by your keyboard, bro. Oh, shit. Uh, my bad, I really thought someone stole that shit. You good, bro. Bro, you tripping, bro. Ain't nobody gonna steal your glasses, bro. You're just blind, you can't see nothing. A few moments earlier. Alright YouTube, to start off this fade, I'm gonna go ahead and create my first ball line guideline using my and it's my pros. Next using my wall 5 star finales, I'm gonna go ahead and full shave just beneath that first ball line. Next step, using no guard with the lever all the way open. I'm gonna use my Corley Seniors to make my next guideline, and I'm just going up about like half an inch. Next, using my number one guard still with the lever all the way open. I'm gonna go ahead and make my next guideline going up another half an inch. Okay, using my number two guard with the lever all the way closed. I'm not going up an exact measurement or whatever, but I am just taking away the bulk from the sides. Um, really flicking into the curls, not trying to get rid of the curls, but also trying to blend it in with it. Okay, so right here I'm gonna clipper overcome this harsh line of bulk that you did not see in the last clip. So what happens when you flick out with the number two guard, you tend to push up a lot of short hairs that is meant to lay down in the fade up into the curls. And to say he were to like to take a shower, get his hair wet or like apply more product up in the curls, the hair on top is going to get even more curlier and those short hairs on the side is either going to stick out or just lay back down with the fade. And it's just going to be unnecessary bulk that you do not want your client with the next day. So just keep that in mind when it comes to curly hair. So now that I'm done with the top, I'm going to go ahead and blend down. So right here I got the one and a half guard with the lever all the way open. And I'm going to lighten up this guideline as much as I can. And then I will close it all the way and flick out the rest. So now we're gonna work on that guideline that was underneath that one. So right here I got the lever all the way open using the half guard and I'm gonna gradually close it little by little 
just to blend in the rest of that guy line. So now we're left with this first ball line guideline that I have created in the beginning of this fade. So what I'm going to do is with the lever all the way closed using no guard, I'm going to go ahead and knock out that ball line going up just a bit. And after that, I'm going to gradually open my lever to blend in the rest of the fade. I need you guys to hit that subscribe button. You know, it, not not for me, but for him. Yeah, and for, then you guys uh, can hit the subscribe button for him when you go to his channel and the links will be in the description. That's how you that's how you Oh do. I mean, oh see, then follow my boy 360 right here. And um you know y'all can follow me at Really Bold Barber. You you too. Man, Shut your face. Shut your face. <laughs> So right here I'm using the one and a half guard with the lever all the way closed and I'm going to go with the grain on the front of his hairline just to shorten those hairs for a crispier lineup. So right here I'm using some Elegance hairspray. I really recommend this hairspray, it's a really good hairspray. But right here I'm just going to spray some in the front of the line just to keep the hair in place for the lineup. Alright YouTube, besides the lineup, this is pretty much it for the cut. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And for anybody that does not like this video, I do not care. Just kidding, but um, to keep updated with any upcoming YouTube videos or for daily content, follow me on Instagram at Barber and book your next appointment with me on Booksy.